What's up guys, Jester Bell is back and I hope you appreciate me making the video for you today because I have been feeling under the weather. But we just have some very interesting news that just came out about the MCU, so I thought I would share it with you guys. So, uh, as I probably mentioned on another stream, that Blade has been having some behind the scenes issues. And that with that came out the news that Kevin Feige is spread too thin. And that I was say saying that maybe this is going to make um, the MCU slow down and take their time with their projects. After things like Doctor Strange 2 and Thor Love and Thunder... Um, haven't been as well received by audiences and while they made money they didn't perform as well as Disney was hoping and now it looks like my predictions are coming true we have many many films set in the MCU shifted uh, most of them a year apart of their original release date as Marvel and Kevin Feige say that they want to take more time to figure out these films and hopefully I think deliver a better better product so let's go into the movies that they say that have been delayed. Uh, Blade was originally going to release on November 3rd, 2023, and it is now September 6th, 2024. Once again, almost a year apart. They are looking for a new director at this time, and it looks like they're going to need to rewrite the script quite a bit. Uh, let, let's see, what else? Deadpool 3, which was announced very recently with Wolverine, is moving to November 8th, 2024. Um, uh, after it was originally going to uh, be released September 6, 2024. So that's not t too far apart. That's two months apart. Um, but then we have Fantastic Four, which was going to come out in November 8th, 2024. And now that's February 14th, 2025. So that's like how many months? Uh, five months apart? So I guess almost a half a year apart, but it's still next year. And then we have an, an, as another movie going a year apart. We have Avengers Secret Wars, which is going from November 2025 to May 2026. So um, almost a year apart on that one. And it looks like the Kang Dynasty, which was originally said to come out on 2025, that that's probably going to be moved as well. It only makes sense. So this is crazy stuff. Let me see. It looks like Disney is making a lot of changes to its calendar. They've got some other lesser known films that are moving, like... Um, uh, King Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes looks like that moved and uh, something called The Haunting of Venice. There's a lot of other movies that are getting um, moved around and that's that's interesting. That's, it's just interesting stuff to me because like I said, uh, Doctor Strange 2 underperformed. That was a movie that would expect it to be like a Civil War where it's not an Avengers movie but it's kind of that level of event and that is one that they would no doubt want to make a billion dollars but it made just under a billion dollars and then they did Thor Love and Thunder which I don't think it reached I have to look this up I don't think that it reached uh Ragnarok's numbers let me see hmm it looks like it might have just caught up with Ragnarok but that is not good when Marvel was kind of on when it wasn't affected by COVID, it was um, kind of on a billion dollar streak with a lot of their films, especially when you go with one of the original um, Avengers like that. So they haven't been performing as well as Marvel would have liked. And we've had a lot of controversy coming out saying that Marvel is relying way too much on their VFX artists and that they are spread too thin. They are giving deadlines that don't make any sense. They are uh, commanded to uh, make changes at the very last minute and they don't have enough people to comply with those changes and so it really seems like there's been probably a lot of turmoil behind the scenes with this stuff and that uh, let me see this it definitely seems like there's probably been a lot more turmoil behind the scenes than we have realized and that it's getting to them and that probably the higher ups are like we want Marvel to still be the most profitable thing on earth and so we need to take our time with these films to bring them up to a higher level of quality or we're going to damage the Marvel brand and so I'm, I'm glad that they're doing this but at the same time I'm like just a few days ago maybe it was last week we heard that Michael Walden was the writer for Doctor Strange 2 that did not go over so well with people and he didn't even watch WandaVision that became apparent and then he did the movie and now he's gotten hired to do an Avengers movie and that information came out very recently so it's like we are seeing delays happening in order to try to 
uh, take a step back apparently and try to fix the MCU as a brand, but then you're hiring the same writers who haven't worked before and who didn't even do their research. So I don't know if that's going to work out because it's like you're giving yourself more time, yes, but you're hiring some of the same people that haven't worked out. And yes, it's true that um, most, more than one person works on these films. It isn't just the writer who handles everything. So perhaps they could potentially work with Michael Waldron and maybe catch him up to speed on the MCU and try to make a better film. Maybe that's happening. But it makes me feel like we're not out of the woods yet. I'm not so confident in all of Marvel's decision making so far. So I don't know. I, I really am glad that they're at least delaying things to give them a little bit more time because Fantastic Four, I think, I would really hate to have a third go at that franchise and have it fail once again. So they really need to get Marvel back on track, but I'm glad that they seem like they're slowing down once again. And there hasn't been a new Disney Plus show for Marvel announced in a long time. Comparatively, when we were getting new Disney Plus Marvel shows announced before the initial announcements had even come out. So I'm glad that this is happening. So I'm glad that this is happening and I hope that it means that good things will come from Marvel in the future, but we have to actually see those good things. We, But I'm glad that maybe they're slowing down a bit and giving people like Kevin Feige a breather so it's not just a constant churn of bad content out of Marvel. And it looks like maybe they will listen just a little bit when at least the box office speaks to them. But I think that they're confident so far in things like Guardians of the Galaxy 3 that um, that's set in place, that's ready to go. I think that's going to be really good. And if I'm not mistaken, I think that that now is going to be maybe our last film before the delays. Or I think Thunderbolts is coming out and I don't care about that. That hasn't been delayed, so I don't know if they have more confidence in that or maybe they're just cutting their losses with that film. I don't know, but so far this is at least interesting. What do you guys think of the Marvel delays? Do you think that this is Disney trying to right the ship? Let me know in the comments below and I'll see you guys next time.